Hi everyone, this is Andy, and MSI has launched the brand new Intel 12th Gen HX series processor laptop. The latest MSI Titan GT77, Raider GE series, and Vector GP series are powered by the desktop level performance Intel 12th Gen HX processor. The Intel 12th Gen HX series processor has two more performance cores, 16 cores total, compared to the Intel 12th Gen H series processor. Also, it has 30 megabytes L3 cache. The thermal solution design is what MSI is always proud of, and with the help of firmware fine-tuned by MSI engineers, the performance of MSI laptop will not only boost, but overboost to another level. Prior to explaining how overboost works, let's take a look at the NVIDIA Dynamic Boost first. What is NVIDIA Dynamic Boost? NVIDIA Dynamic Boost is a new technology that helps to juggle the power supply from both the CPU and GPU. In the old days, the CPU and GPU have worked independently, benefiting from their own power supply. However, this design is not perfect for mobile device as the power supply and thermal capacity is limited. In gaming, the GPU will require a lot of power while the power budget is being held by the CPU. NVIDIA Dynamic Boost 2.0 uses multiple AI networks to allow power shifting from the CPU to the GPU and vice versa. This could help users to have higher performance in specific conditions. When we talk about performance, the new MSI flagship Titan GT77, the Raider GE series, the Vector GP series sits right on top in the gaming industry. They have up to the most powerful desktop level Intel Core i9HX processor and NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti with GDDR6 16GB. But being a pioneer in performance laptops, MSI doesn't stop there. Thanks to the outstanding thermal design and the effort of MSI engineering marvels, the Titan GT77, Raider GE77 HX and Vector GP76 HX with MSI Overboost technology can deliver up to 175 watts plus the 75 watts while running some heavy-duty CPU and GPU tasks or games. That is 250 watts in total. You may see on the laptop label more than 100 watts for CPU, but it can only hold the heat for a short period of time before it begins to throttle. The overboost 75 watts of CPU means it is able to remain at 75 watts power output without throttling. You may think this is all just talks, right? Is it real? How to prove this overboost really works? It's simple. We used a Prime 95 and Furmark to do the stress testing for both CPU and GPU and push them to the limit. Now, after stress test starts, the power of CPU is running around 75 watts. The NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti laptop graphics is running at up to 175 watts with Dynamic Boost 2.0. This proves that the MSI Overboost is real, built in in your MSI GT, GE, and the GP series laptops. Remember to switch to discrete graphics mode in MSI Center to gain the max power of your GPU. You may wonder, how does higher wattage affect your laptop performance? We have the Titan GT77 equipped with the Intel 12th Gen Core i9 processor and the RTX 3080 Ti laptop graphics with 16GB of VRAM and set the power limit of CPU to 75 watts and then lower it to 55 watts and then to 30 watts. We will benchmark under the extreme performance mode in MSI Center and turn on the cooler boost to make sure that we can get the best performance. Here's the result of the Cinebench R23. Clearly, the higher the CPU wattage is, the higher the performance it gets. Now let's repeat the same CPU setting and take a look at how it affects the RTX 3080 Ti performance in 3D Mark times by. As you can see, higher wattage setting still beats the one with lower wattage setting in benchmark results. The next, let's see how the CPU wattage affects gameplay. Like the previous tests, it is also clear that high CPU wattage benefits game performance. What we have discussed is under the condition that when both CPU and GPU are being used, for the MSI 12th Gen i9-12900HX processor family, Titan GT77, Raider GE series, Vector GP series, the performance when the CPU being used alone is also incredible. The 12th Gen i9-12900HX processor Cinebench result is two times 
more than the previous generation Intel i7-11800H processor. On the other hand, when performing time spy benchmark with NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU, it can reach 35% more than NVIDIA RTX 2080 Super Laptop GPU. When comparing the NVIDIA RTX 3070 Ti laptop GPU with NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super Laptop GPU, the score is 40% more. With the MSI Intel 12 Gen HX series processor, you can play the games in high resolution settings with high FPS. That's how the performance on MSI top-end gaming laptops dominate the gaming laptop industry. Hope these tips were useful and thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.